Hi, this is Carrie from Experian, and I'm here with Eva Velasquez of Identity Theft Resource Center. Hi, Eva. Hello, how are you? I'm doing great, so excited. You know, the new year always reminds me of, obviously, resolutions, and then it mm -hmm. also reminds me as tax time. Yeah, taxes. So I'm just wrapping up my taxes, actually. Um, I always e-file myself Wait, because, you were doing them here? Yes, of course, it's like Wi-Fi here, cafe. Uh, yeah, it's fine. On right. public Wi-Fi? Yeah, I mean, if I'm here, that's the only way I can access, of course. That's not a big deal, I don't that, think. You know, that's really not a good idea. Were you using a VPN? No, because I'm not at, this is not work, this is personal. This is my, my. so I don't need to use a VPN. I'm on my own personal. Oh my goodness, you have to remember that your taxes have so much sensitive, personally identifying information. You really want to guard that as much as you can. So not using a VPN, being on public Wi-Fi, really risky behavior. Um, when you're filing your taxes yourself, you really want to make sure that you have a secure connection and okay. that you are not letting that information just go out there into the, the interwebs without a lot of security behind oh, it. That totally makes sense. You know, I feel like this time of the year, I always get lots of like emails that say, use our service to e-file, do this way, and we're going to give you mm -hmm. a, you know, free for your state return and this much for federal or free everything. And so there's so many different places to do your tax I feel like and for myself I don't have mm -hmm. this long complicated you know, um, you know I, I don't have a complicated tax situation it's very easy so I usually just do it myself and anywhere I feel like I can just do it on my mobile phone even well remember that there's a difference between doing your taxes yourself and e-filing those are two separate behaviors you can do your own taxes and not e-file you can always send a paper return that's always an option I know it's a little bit slower but if you don't have access to a secure internet connection, it can be a lot better choice. Okay, so, gosh, I can't imagine having to write everything out. So if I want to still do the e-file, I want to be safe, anything else that I should be doing to make sure that I'm safeguarding my information? Well, that's the key component is if you are going to use a software platform, make sure that it's one that's been vetted and that is trustworthy. And if you are going to keep a copy of that return outside of the platform, so when you, when you purchase software, that return is housed in, within the platform. But if you want to keep a copy for your own records, it's really a good idea to probably print that out and keep it in a secure location in your home. Unless you have, you're really computer savvy and you have firewalls and you can encrypt data on your computer, not a good idea to keep that on your computer that has access to the internet. That is an excellent, excellent Or on your tip. phone. Excellent tip, because I can honestly say right now, every year when I do it, when I do it myself through a software tool on my computer, I just download it mm -hmm. and save it in a folder and, and I and I close my laptop and I'm done. And I never thought to that to think maybe I should delete that file off, make sure it's totally gone, print it out and just keep it somewhere else to be more safe. I You're wouldn't even think about my computer being compromised any time stolen. of the year and my mm -hmm. tax returns are all on there from the past you know, however many years that I've done it. It really keeps it easier. If you just print it out and put it in the secure location, you've definitely reduced your risk surface because the only way someone could get their, their hands on that document would be to physically break into your home. Whereas on your laptop, they could get it by, um, you know, you could fall for a phishing scam, you could have a, a virus or malware on your computer, you could have your computer stolen out of your mm. car or office or something like that. So really, Print that paper copy. Okay, so safeguard my information, but what about some things to look out for? Let's say, for instance, you complete everything, I file my taxes, or I attempt to maybe file it, and then I realize maybe my information has been compromised. Or what if someone beats me to it? You know what I mean? Or what are ways that I can keep safe as outside of my software and my computer, but just also being safe when it comes to, or knowing if something is wrong, what are maybe some things to notice, you know, if this is not right? We always tell people file first, beat the crooks. That's, that's one of the most proactive things that you can do. And then of course, keep an eye out for those red flags. So if you do try to file and you get a notification that your filing didn't go through because something has already been filed, by all means, contact the IRS right away and then avail them yourself of that process. Okay, great. So contact the IRS. Any mm -hmm. other resource that, that we can use as well too when it comes to 
if I was a victim in that way, if I noticed to say, oh my gosh, I think someone. I'm so glad you identity. asked that. Of course, you can contact the Identity Theft Resource Center. Now, we cannot process uh, IRS forms. That's not part of how we can help you. But there are a lot of broader things that could be going on with your personally identifying information and your identity credentials. And we can absolutely give you a plan. We have a plan for you by all means reach out to us through our, our toll-free call center, live chat on our website. You can even download the free ID Theft Help app. Perfect, so many ways to contact you guys. I love that. We are available by whatever method you wanna to talk to us. That's great, that's great. Thank you so much, Eva, and I feel totally safe now and hope you guys do too as well during tax season. Use that VPN. I will. <laughs> Thanks. Thank you.